sit back, relax, and unwind. It's time for the Dusty Trail Radio Show. Today we return to part two of our three-part series, The Lonely Corral Jazz Club. We last left our hero, Mitch. Mitch had been riding hard for three days across the plains trying to get a letter to the colonel at the local outpost. He wanted to let him know that there was a fantastic blues musician coming through town to put on a great show, but that there, this blues musician had a terrible secret. He had sold his soul to the devil. <laughs> so he arrived at the door of the colonel and gave him this news. <laughs> Come in, it's open, said the colonel. Uh, hi there, colonel. I got some news for you here right in my satchel. I'm going to give it to you right now. You see, there's a blues musician coming through town, and he plays better than any man I ever heard this side of Mississippi. But I'll tell you something, I'll tell you something, Colonel. He sold his soul to the devil. The Colonel was shocked. He asked Mitch what the man's name was. What was the man's name? Why, the man's name? Blue. That's it, Blue. <laughs> yes, much like Cher or Prince, the man had one name, Blue. He was a he was from the Delta and he was a trickly son of a gun. And he was making his way all the way across the plains, taking over one town after another with his soulful saxophone and sounds. He leave the town all in slave like. It was a terrible, terrible thing. What was Mitch gonna do? I'll tell you, Colonel, I don't know what I'm gonna do when this guy Blue comes here to this here town, because I'm too lucky in this town, and I wanna call it home, and he ain't gonna take that from me. Just then, the Colonel had devised a plan in which they could catch Blue. We could have a speakeasy, and then we'll invite him to play and have the police stick him up. Oh, Colonel, you and your big words, speakeasy and police, we don't know what those words mean around here, we're just simple folk. We'll have big porn blocks of rum, and then we'll shoot him. How about that? Later that day, after much planning, Blue strode into town. Oh, this looks like a mighty fine time to play my seconds. He spied a flyer on a local pole. What do you got? A bar opening at a speakeasy? Sounds like the perfect place to blow everyone away. So he made his way to the speakeasy, but Mitch and the Colonel were ready for him when he walked in the door. Now! Oh, my gosh, is this, is this a sticker? It sure is! Blue! We knew you would come to town, Blue. We don't like your kind around here. You don't like saxophone? No. And we, we don't like you and your foreign words. Like saxophone? Yeah. <laughs> Way too many bottles in it.